Shem Hashem, with Hashem's loving grace, welcome to Laser Breams with your host, Laser Brody. And we have a really special interview tonight with the Rockin' Rebbitson. Now, you know about the Rockin' Rebbitson, but what you don't know about the Rockin' Rebbitson, Rebbitson Nama Berger, that she was on the Israel Olympic weightlifting team. She was on the 1996 Olympic team and she gave it all up to get close to Hashem. You have to meet this amazing woman, Naama. Welcome to Laser Beams, and it's so, we're so privileged Hi, to have people. you. Hello. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hi, everyone, brothers and sisters. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell us who Rockin' Rebbitson is. Tell us about Naama Wait, before, Berger. Before, before I talk about myself, I want to tell you that I really adore your work, and I really I appreciate it so much, and... Wow, wow, I'm, I'm beaming. Okay. Thank you. That, that, okay. that is really special coming from you. That's really special coming from you. Tell me something. Yes. You had, as a young woman in your late teens and your early 20s, you had everything that a real snazzy, with it, Israeli young woman wants. You had a music career. You're on the best, the, the number one female drummer in Israel on a really good rock band. You were on the Israel Olympic weightlifting team. <laughs> what, 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 what's, how, do you, how do you give it all up? How do you give it all up? Or maybe you didn't give it all up. I don't think I ever gave up for anything. Um, I was always a drastic person, very extreme. I love like doing, you know, extreme things, weird things. And I always looked for this uh, taste in my life, this uh, light in my life. I'm, I'm not a boring person. And, uh, I remember I wanted to play the drum since I was since I remember myself. I'm going to tell you a chidush now. Also, you okay, know who was the first? Is a nuance. Okay, okay, That's nuance. Fine. You know who was the first drummer? Who's that? The lady drummer, the first drummer. It says in the Torah, Miriam. She That's went right. outside with her girls. You know, they went a whole bunch of girls outside playing the drums and singing. I always thought she was the one, but no, Naama was the first one. It says in the midrash. Why was she called Naama? Because she used to pleasure with drumming. Okay? Naama, the, the translation of the, the name Naama is, is pleasant. is pleasure. Okay? She was she beautiful was the, also. Was a, <laughs> my, do you remember who Naama was? And, and she, she was the first drummer. And also drums is an instrument of women. It's not a man instrument. Wherever it says drum tof in the Torah, a woman is standing behind it and banging it. Another uh, uh, evidence for that is that on Beis Amikdash, yeah, the word the Levim, this was the biggest, huge center of music like in the world. Yeah. The Holy Temple. Yeah, and the Holy May Temple. Be Beis soon. Amikdash, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, right now, as we're talking. And there's no drums there. And the Levim, they used to play, they used to be the most professional uh, musicians in the world because they had to play music when a person comes, when a, yeah, when an neshama comes and make themselves fit their neshama. Otherwise, if it was too high, so a person could, that's it, you know, die from pleasure. And, and if it was too low, so it doesn't, it didn't do anything for the neshama, yeah? So yeah, on Beta Mikdash, the there's no drums. Be inspired. Yeah, so on Beta Mikdash, there's no drums. No drums, so drums is a lady's uh, instrument. That's first. And she was Nama Eshet Noach. The wife of Noach was from the first generation. I hold myself as Nama from the last generation. I'm going to be accepting Moshiach, me and my girls where I teach drums. Now, I want to tell you something. You asked me before, what did, why did I give up? What? I did a lot of things. I was weightlifting, as you said. Yeah, I was on the Olympic team. We had already tickets to go to the Olympics. And um, it was the highlight of my life. Uh, I always wanted to be a celebrity. Yeah, I was like in rock bands and going with those leather jackets. I just want our, excuse me for interrupting. I yeah. just want our listeners to know that then you were 48 kilos. You were in the 48 yeah. kilo weight class. Yeah. And you lifted three times your body weight in powerlifting, which is... Yeah, powerlifting, I lifted like 135, 140 kilo. I don't know how much it is it in uh, like... Times 2.2, yeah. 135. Yeah, but I was like, wow. 300 yeah. pounds, 300 pounds for a little yeah. girl that weighs a little more than 100 pounds. And I started from nothing. I couldn't even pick up 50 kilo at the beginning. And in, in 10 months, I went like, beam, yeah. 
I had a really, really good uh, training guy trainer. Yeah, that's the word. I'm yeah. sorry for my English. I'm very Israeli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, it's beautiful. It, it's Excuse delightful. Me, yeah. <laughs> it's delightful. Anyway, but I was always missing something. I was always missing, we call it here like oomph. Yeah, something was missing always. I was not happy. And I come from a small community, from a small town. It's near Haifa. It's in Haifa suburbs. It's called Kiryat Ata. And there is a big uh, Hasidut there with a big rabbi. It's called Makaveh. I used to see them coming from synagogue on Shabbos night and Shabbos day. At that black time you were people. secular completely, right? Yeah, I was secular, completely secular. Legamre, yeah? And we used to see them before we used to go to nightclubs and whatever. We used to see them come out from the synagogue and they're happy. Those people in black, you know, with those big black hats, you know, the Steinlach. My husband goes now with that, yeah, and my son also. Never mind. And I used to see them and they were so happy. And what in the world makes you so happy? We're standing now two hours in the synagogue, like bending like this and reading something. It's where did this happiness come from. And this used to drive me crazy. I didn't know. I didn't know. And we had a friend uh, in our, you know, we had a group of friends that was always so friendly. And we had a friend that he, he came from a tradition home. They used to keep like holidays and whatever. And it was Mitchazek. He became very, very religious. And he used to like um, tell us about God and Torah and mitzvahs and whatever. So at the beginning, it was really nice to listen to him. But back then, you know, afterwards, like, you want to come and sit here, just leave God behind the door and leave your Torah behind the door and stop it. Yeah. I also come from a traditional family. Uh, my father, Zichon uh, came from Morocco when he was eight years old. And they were very innocent people. They didn't know other kind of Jewish people. It's like, if you're a Jew, you're keeping mitzvahs, that's it. And with time, you know, they went down and down and down. They were very, very, very innocent people. But tradition we kept. He used to make Kiddush and Shabbos and go like, put the TV down, I'm making Kiddush, yeah? <laughs> and all of us were there. And then back then, my husband was my boyfriend. I'm, I'm allowed to say that, yeah? Boyfriend? Yeah, yeah that's 100%. <laughs> okay. 100%. So my husband was my boyfriend. And I told him, he comes from a very, very secular family that didn't have even mezuzot, like on the, on the entrance of the house. And he, he never knew anything. And I told him, listen, if you're going to get married one day, I, I want to keep tradition, you know, holidays. And we can go to the beach afterwards on Shabbos, but I want to eat chunt on Shabbos. Yeah, it's like something that keeps you connected. I want my kids that, that they should know that they're Jewish. Yeah, that they should know the religion. Even, even wise, I was completely secular. Yeah. And um, he went, he went to a, a how's it called? Seminar, sem, seminary. Yeah, only for one Shabbos. And he really liked that. He, 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 he called me on Matzah Shabbos and he said, I'm staying here. So what do you mean you're staying? <laughs> I said, she's just, you know, you know, what's going on. What do you mean you're staying? And then he came back and it was like, I knew it's going to happen one day. And, and I knew I'm, I can't give up things I like. I'm a rock. I'm a rock fan since I'm very, very young, like uh, Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple and uh, Jimi Hendrix. And then afterwards, Iron Maiden and all stuff like I can't give up and I'm playing the drums and. I'm not going to give up. And I find, I found that you can be religious and you can be very close to God and keep doing the things that you like. Everything, almost everything is, in, is allowed in Judaism. Yeah. Like this, this is not like, uh, this is not Islam. This you're forbidden and forbidden. From, no, uh, much the opposite. You're allowed to do everything, but for everything is the right place and the right time to do. And that's really healthy to grow up like this. Today I have children and my kids are not connected to the media and they don't have the pressure and the the tachaut, yeah, the tachaut. competition, the competition that other kids have, and the the pressure from from society that other kids have. They go downstairs to the park and they play with ball and and they read books. You know this thing with the thick uh, and papers in the middle. They read that. I, I and and they have a good life. They're they're growing up really healthy and they don't miss anything in life. They're really happy, healthy kids in, in their mental ha happiness and health, yeah? You get it? Yeah. What I'm saying? I'm sorry for my English. I'm missing a lot of words. No, that's okay. Um, that's okay. But one, one really important thing, we're going to stop and, yeah. and emphasize this one really important thing. You told us that you don't have to give up anything in the service of Shem. So it means that no, we, can no. take our, we can take our talents and our aptitudes that Hashem gave us and bring it into a Shem. For okay. sure, for so sure. No, know, it's, listen, I'm, excuse be, me one minute. You're excuse not me be, one minute. 
You're not going to God, be living. God gives people talent, not because he's bored. Okay. Now you're going to be talented in a drawing, and the other one's going to be talented to play a saxophone. That's it. No. If you got a talent from God, you have a shlichut. You have a destiny with that. You need to use it. So it's a shlichut. Um, you so have if a, I get it right, okay. Hashem gave Rock and Rebitson power. Power. She's taken that yeah, power sure. and the power that you lose weightlifting, uh, your life isn't easy. Your life isn't easy because I you raise a family, easy, your husband is learning Torah, you've got, you're bringing up, making a living, uh, you've got, you're taking all that power into here, but how, how, how do you bring the drumming into Torah? How do you bring the drumming into Torah? Tell me what you're doing. <laughs> first of all, first of all, my husband goes to college and I was the one who picked that, like my husband goes to learn Torah and I was the one that picked to go working, okay? That was my decision and my, my like, I, I uh, uh, support my husband that way. Your dedication. And I want to I wanna tell you something, all you brothers and sisters there. When, when one goes and learn Torah, like God helps. OK, like it does. It's not the amount that you earn every month. It's the blessing that God puts in the amount. It's the blessing that God put in your house, in your walls and house, in your children, in your happiness, in your mental health, in your mind and everything. I can't explain that. It's something that you have to uh, uh, live in to to understand it. It's like a blind person when you tell them like the, the color red. So I can say it's something that connected to anger and to furious and to this. But until he opens his eyes and see the color red, you will never understand what's red. You people will not understand until you live that. And God gives you, he gives you the blessing and everything. And you ask me how you put this rock thing in my life and whatever. First of all, I was working also as a training uh, uh, guide in a, in a machon kosher, in a gym. Okay. So I can still power lifting. I can still do everything I want. Fantastic. Uh, the second thing is the second thing is I teach drums in a in a religious school for music, a huge empire. They got all the instruments from the most bizarre instruments until the normal instruments, and they got like teacher for boys and teachers for girls. And I work there, except that I play drums in two groups, and I play only for ladies, only for women and girls. I play in school. I I, I travel all over the country and I play drums. You've been, you've been outside of Israel also, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I went to I went to Ukraine. Uh, I went to Uman. Maybe next time I'm going to say Uman. It's Uman in Russia, not in Ukraine. Hopefully <laughs> not. <laughs> Hopefully not. I went to Uman, and yeah, yeah. And, and we made there, like, we had a big uh, show there going on. We had a good time. It's like, and when, when we play music now, it's not that music and the lyrics that, that we used to listen before all the lyrics and all the music is like very holy music. It's everything for our father, everything for God. And, and accept the money that you get and you earn. You also so fulfilled because making people happy today, it's not something that's obvious. People are not like, and, and, and I see like people going out the show. They're so happy. They're so full of energy. And it's not something that that's, you take for granted. When they leave obvious. your show, when they leave yeah. your show. Right? Yeah. yeah when, and, when, when they leave our show, they're, they're so happy. And, and the women, they're in an environment where the most religious women, they can yeah, get up and dance. Yeah, the most religious, and... all the communities, Hasidish and Litvish and Sfaradish. And I've been like somewhere that they, they're called Rebaralach. They got this black thing on their head, even blacker than mine. <laughs> and, and they're like very close community and whatever. Even there we went. I, I fit myself everywhere. And Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. I'm, but I want to tell you something. I'm, I'm not looking for a career. I'm not looking for a career and I, I don't see it as a career. My big, huge career is my family. And I'll tell mm. you why. I got children and my big son got married last year. You know him. Mazel yeah. Tov, mazel yeah, thank you. Mazel tov. Tov. And soon we're going to be so grandparents, Bezrat Hashem. Soon you're going to be grandparents, Bezrat Hashem. Wow. And... <laughs> rocking grandma. Yeah, rocking <laughs> rockin grandma. 45 years old, rocking grandma. I'm only 45 years old. Amazing. I don't wow. know how that happened, but uh, never mind. Okay. Um, and I, I, he's, he's learning the old day Torah and his wife is working. That's what she wanted. He wanted to work. He wanted to get a job. He wanted to learn a profession. She said, no, forget it. You're going to go and learn Torah because her family is like this. And, and, and they're so happy. And I see him struggle because life is not easy, you know. Life is not, but they're happy. They got this, a person that's got a munah, that's got a belief, yeah? And he knows that everything comes from God and God does everything for you, you know? And, and, and everything is for the good for you. You don't worry, you don't have this worries because I don't know, I don't know, I'll tell you the truth. 
to be honest, I don't know how people live today without Emuna because you can get you can get freaked out. Like life is, is crazy. It's, it's not like 20 years ago when I made Chiva, even more, 25 years ago when I made Chiva. It's it's life is like really crazy. I see my brother, I see my sister, everybody's got a career. My sister is a principal of a big, huge school, yeah. And 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 she doesn't see her kids at home. She doesn't have a life. Yeah, she's always in her career. My brother is like uh, in charge for 3,000 uh, uh, people that work. He works like in Khadar uh, Barba, Menel Muked. You say yeah, that? For the, for the Israel National Telephone Company. Yeah, and he's got like 3,000 people that work under him, and he doesn't have a life. I always talk to him and ask him like, yeah, bro, like, why are you doing that? So I'm satisfied. Why are you satisfied? You leave at six o'clock in the morning, you come at 10 o'clock at night, you wreck, you, you fall asleep in front of the television on the sofa. What, for why do you do that? So you can like, how you say, so you can water the plants. The water, the plants, the the water, water the the, with the hose, the grass, when you're going to be 60, I'm doing it now. I'm, I don't need a career for that. And, and I see my children as they grow. I got teenagers now. My, one of my daughters was not accepted to school. To high school and I was crying so bad about it you know and then she 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 cried for a minute and then she wiped her tears and she said no this is from God this is for good I don't need to go and learn there I need to go somewhere else and the way they accept things this is so amazing um even even my younger children the way they accept things no this is for good this is from God and I achieved something in life if I got kids that speak like that and believe like that and, and live like that you understand? In other words, in other words, t- t- with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the kids get a muna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's 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 our truth. This is the MS. There's nothing else. There's awesome. nothing else. We are all here, puppets, in a big show that God made especially for you, Lazy Boy. I'm not existing. Nothing is existing. There's only a shemit barach. There's nothing else. And when you uh, uh, comprehend it, when you put it in your head, and you believe in that, and if it makes a part of you so that's it like 80 85 90 percent of the pressure goes down you're happy with everything you don't want more and more and more the whole time yeah i like money i'll tell you the truth i like money and i like to go with my kids and buy them stuff and and uh, i like good food okay but god god also gave us things here to enjoy this life okay you could make you could make back then everything gray and and boring and whatever it's like eat this gray soup the whole time no he gave you colorful things he gave you a nice world to go and travel to he, get, he made even love he made it that way that, that, that you should feel it yeah you understand we forgot what to saying? mention one of your talents wait a what? second in between <laughs> Okay, you weren't making a living from lifting weights, and the, the playing the band was at night. But aren't you a aren't you a chef also, a graduate chef? Uh, Mama, she's a chef, but yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a professional cook. Yeah, I went three years to learn uh, cooking in a cooking school. Wow. Also, I did that, and we had uh, burgers, pizza, and we closed it because that's it. I couldn't anymore do it in the house. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we do the best. If, if someone is. wants something better than the Irish lottery, they want an invitation for Shabbat <laughs> or for dinner at the Burger family. Yeah, for sure. And we got an open house. Everybody comes to us. Everybody in, in the synagogue knows that if they need a place to go to Shabbos or whatever, or even stam, like in the middle of the week, they need laundry, they need a place to sleep, they need to eat, they need a mother. I'm Mama Nama. I'm the mother of everybody. Now my was Nama. the mother. Yeah, she was the mother. I'm I'm the mother of everybody. I, my, my son used to go to yeshiva, he's not in that yeshiva anymore, it's like a high school, he's not learning there anymore, but the boys from the yeshiva, they still come, I love them so much, everybody, you know, every one of them, we, we got an open house, everybody's invited here. That's it, it's so amazing, yeah. it's so amazing, that a family that has Torah, a family that has loving kindness, a family that has happiness, a family that has a muna, you guys are really rocking. Nama, yeah. what is the message that you can give to young people that are not yet into Emuna, not yet into finally what what's what's just, just start talking to God. You do not need a book or a tehillim or a siddle or whatever to pray. This is your father. Come back home. Your papa is waiting for you. Just open your mouth, look at the sky, look for a piece of the sky in the window and just start talking to him. Father, I love you. I want to come back. I don't know what to do that. It's like, I can't turn my whole life upside down. You don't need to also. It's not the clothes. It's not, 
it's not it's it's something in your heart in your soul it's it's an issue and people get a life and when i say get a life start looking in your family and start putting in your family and go back to be like simple people go down to the park with your kids and play with the sand go to the beach look at the sky look at the sea look what god did you can't ignore that we're so confused we're so into media and so into running and making money and people get alive, put back yourself in the house and, and have good time with the kids. Because one day you're going to wake up and it's going to be too late and you're going to find yourself that, wow, I missed life. I missed the main, main thing in life. That's what I want to give you. This, this is the best thing there is. Your career is your children, is your wife, is your husband, is your family. That's the main career in life. That's the most important thing in life. And love 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 because god is love and when you love god you get you get it back he helps you just ask he's waiting for you to ask he's wait, waiting for you to come back he misses you and it's not your fault that you're born wherever you're born and it's not your fault that you don't know things i didn't know anything i used to make such rubbish at the beginning <laughs> and and but but you know and and you don't it's, it's not for people outside it's something for you yourself in your inside just one thing, like Hashem, Hashem says, Say that. Okay, that if you open me up a tiny hole, like the hole of a needle, I'll open you up, uh, uh, yeah. uh, opening for a Mack truck. Pick something, want something good that you can do. Want something, want chesed, like, a, a, I don't know, like find someone and help them. Take one minute and do something that's not so hard. Ladies, if, if, if you're married, lit Shabbos candles and then go to a nightclub. Go do whatever you do. Just take those two minutes because on the time of, of, of candlelight, everything opens for you. You can ask for everything you want and you're going to get everything you want. Just this small, tiny minute. It's not so hard. Just leaving candles, say the bruche, and then ask for God. Connect back. Put God back into your life because we, we are their children. We were born Jewish. We got a soul, something that the other people don't have. Yeah, we got a soul inside, and that soul is part of Hashem. Okay, and that's I think there's another can... message you brought here that people have been afraid of that they got to throw away everything. No, forget you it. You take you don't your need talents. To throw anything. You take listen, your talents that Hashem gave you and bring it in. Yeah, listen, I got a secular family, and I love my family, and I never gave up for them. So if they don't come here for Shabbos, that's okay. So they come on the all far holidays like i don't know Cholamoid sukkot and hanukkah and purim and stuff uh we we go there in the summer and 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 we try to find the middle way that it's going to be good for us and our kids and them also and we respect them in their own way and they respect us and we're still very close you don't have to give up anything i'm still playing drums i'm still having a good time i think that even now i enjoy more playing drums than back then because back then everybody judges you are you still doing everybody... anything in fitness training yeah I pick up the laundry basket 10,000 times a day. That's, <laughs> I'm running all day. I'm picking like big, huge pots and putting on the stove and then back. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I love I'm it. trying to. I'm, I had babies. That count? Does that count? <laughs> yeah. Bo Hashem. Bo Hashem. Yeah. Bo Hashem. That's amazing. I want to ask you, you a don't final have to give question. Up. Yeah. It's, it's so special. And that's uh, what the Gemara says. That's only part of your praise. But we've done monumental things in, in your long life. And I'm sure... Uh, we're going to hear a lot more from you. You could be very influential in that. Yeah, in but the world. yeah. so you're going to influence a lot of people. Uh, who were the big influences on you in your life? Wow. So first of all, it's our uh, Rebbe, the Melitza Rebbe Shlite. Uh, I mean, the Hashem should, uh, should give the Melitza Rebbe long and healthy life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, we, we took upon ourselves that, that we, we don't know what's good for us. First of all, he's a very, very wise person. Yeah, he's a very smart person. He's much more uh, uh, older than us. And he's got experience in life, uh, except the spiritual part, okay? And also the spiritual, he's, he's very connected to God. He's a very Talmud Chochem. And he's, he's, by my eyes, he's a shaliach from Hashem, okay? He's a messenger from Hashem. Messenger from Hashem, yeah. So we, we, we took upon ourselves that we do whatever he says. So first of all, there's no problem between me and my husband. We have also like peace and quiet between us because whenever we start fighting about this, we just go to him and we both accept what he says. Both, so life is good. Yeah, we, yeah, life is good. And then back then he had a, a Rebbe Tzen, uh, She was the daughter of uh, Spinker Rebbe, Zecher Tzadik Levracha. 
Rebbitz and Golda. She, that yeah, she... Rebbitz and Golda. I got a daughter named after her. Uh -huh. I never believed I'm going to have a daughter named Goldie. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. another issue. That's your, your oldest daughter. Yeah, my oldest daughter. And and she was she was for me everything. She was like my mama. And and the house was open like in, in a level that I used to go there and just open the door and open the fridge and do whatever I want. And she she gave me the strength. Uh, she, she taught me not to be afraid from people and from society and what they're going to say about me and whatever, what they're going to tell and uh, do what's good for me for my soul yeah and also um listen you uh, we know you already for uh, a couple of decades and you were a big influence in the beginning and even now and and uh Hashem, like uh, we got books we got rules we got like you buying a fan yeah if you're gonna put it in a high voltage and then the, the electricity the, the, it's gonna it's gonna burn and if you put it on a low voltage so it's not going to work. It's also us. We got a book with like how to live the best life we can and, and take this, 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 this world. Yeah. Uh, 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 as, as, uh, as the easiest we can do. Cause, cause nobody's got it easy. If somebody's going to tell you life is easy, forget it. It's, it's you're on your way down. And if life is easy, it's like you go on a bike and you go like on a hill, it's very hard. You know, like to pedal with a bike. Yeah. If you go down, things are going easy. You you know, something, that's, that's a, a good point because Weightlifting is called resistance training. Yeah. And if you're working in Kedusha, if you're trying to achieve holiness, that's resistance. You get resistance. Yeah, that's resistance. So yeah, you have spiritual is. resistance training, which is getting close to Hashem, and physical yeah. resistance training, which is building your muscles. Yeah. So it's the yeah, same right. principle. Yeah, it's the same principle, soul, but, but from the MS side, from the truth, not from plastic, gold made from plastic. I don't know fantastic. Saying. Fantastic. Yeah. I had a plastic something. life before. Rockin' Rabbitson, Nama Burger. It has been such an exciting Thank pleasure you. to have you Thank with you, us. Thank you, Rabbi Brody. And I want to bless you and the Burger family, that are Rabbi Timur Nochum, your husband, your wonderful husband, yeah. your Torah, and, and, and your children, your, your son, Rabbi Shimon Uri, the, your oldest son is married already. Yeah. You should have wonderful shiduchim for the girls mine, that are mine. On, online. And then and the boys, everything, and you should have success and nachat, gratitude oh from everything you, you so do, much. from your family, and oh Hashem my. should enable that your light should shine the whole world and bring people close to Hashem. Oh my, oh my, thank you Rabbi Brody for everything, and, and you have people, a wonderful we love you week. people. You know, I want to tell you another thing, it says, how can you love a person? You just don't go in the street every day and, oh, I love you, my brother, forget it. I was talking before about the soul. The Neshuma inside, it's a part of God. And every Jew's got it. So when you, when, you, when you meet another Jew, even though you don't know him, you should know that there's part of God that you have inside and he has inside also. And that's the part you love. So people, we love you. Brothers and sisters, you're invited. If you come to Israel, you're invited to us to, like, we're going to treat you. Pinukim. <laughs> They're going to spoil you. <laughs> we're going to spoil you very nice. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Okay, and God I wish, bless. I wish Dishmaya to everybody. Amen. God. God bless, yeah. and everybody have a lovely week, and all your heart's wishes for the very best. Amen. Take oh, care. Come on. Thank we'll you very much. We'll see you soon much. again on Laser Beams. God Thank bless. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.